from prom to the NBA draft lottery in 15 months. One local prospect is on the fast track. Leslie Van Arsdal has the story. It was back to business for the Sixers today, holding their first big pre-draft workout ahead of the June 21st draft. Head coach Brett Brown, now the acting GM after Brian Colangelo's resignation, says he's embracing his new role. It's changed dramatically for me because you try to just take the pieces and all the talent and the different um, um, parts of our organization and find out, you know, how do I help lead us? You know, what can I do to help? And whether it's the plan on free agency, whether it's the plan on the draft, whether it's the plan on what we're doing with our G League program, uh, what's the plan on, on the development for the summer. Among the players at the Sixers training facility, Miami freshman Lonnie Walker, a Reading native and All-American who would love nothing more than to play for the team he grew up watching. It's very surreal. You know, growing up, you're about 45 minutes from here. You watch almost every basketball, the pride. You know, that this city brings to the 76ers. It's kind of slimmer to back home in Reading, Pennsylvania, you know, the pride of our basketball team. So it's amazing. It's beautiful. Once I came to this gym and I seen it said 76ers, I was just like, wow, you know. Michigan State's Miles Bridges could also be available to the Sixers with the 10th pick. He would love to play for Brett Brown and thinks he'd fit right in. It's a fast, fast-paced team, play defense, um, really great on offense. I think I could fit in really well with them. Now another Bridges who we know very well, Villanova's Mikhail Bridges, will have an individual workout here tomorrow. Reporting from the Sixers training complex in Camden, Leslie Van Arsdal, Eyewitness Sports.